all the add-ons and profiles that I used in the video are linked on the description. You can find my healing and UI guide on my channel. The original video will be linked on the description as well. Enjoy watching. Hello and welcome to my Mage Tower Challenge Guide for Mist Weaver Monk. On this guide I will go over each phase and each ability you should watch for. The talents I used to make the challenge were Chi Burst, Chi Torpedo, Mist Warp, Leg Sweep, Healing Elixir, Chi Jai and Focus Thunder. When I did the challenge I had around 42 traits including 7.2 traits. The gear I had was around 900 and I was using the legendary neck and legs. Make sure to bring flask, food, runes and pots, anything that will boost your healing output. The healing challenge has 5 stages, two of them are used to reset your cooldowns. On the first stage, we have to deal with 5 waves and 3 types of adds, Mage, Warrior and Hunter, and each one does a different ability. Stage 3 is time based, and you will have to kill some mobs and deal with orbs. This stage is pretty simple compared to the other stages. On stage 5, two of your allies will start fighting each other and another three mages will be fixed added to the boss. This stage is all about manage your cooldowns properly and I will explain it once we get there. The priorities for the first phase is to interrupt the mana string over anything else. The hunter will shoot a mana string arrow that will drain 75% of your mana if you get hit and will damage you a lot. Wait to the last second to interrupt this spell. In case you have a cooldown on your paralyzed, let the mana string hit the warrior and heal him up. The second thing that you should watch for is the Mage Arcane Blitz. It's a stacking buff that will increase the damage of the ability for each successful cast. The way to counter this ability is to use your leg sweep at the right time. Once he in rage, you should stun him and the debuff will reset. The Mage is always the first to die on each pack. Make sure you interrupt him only with leg sweep. As long as you have nothing to heal, try to do as much DPS as you can. The safest way to do it is to use your Cracking Jade Lightning. The last thing you should watch for is Dancing Knife. It's an AoE ability that cast by the warrior. You should interrupt it in the same way as the Mana String. Only interrupt it after he cast it or it will not work. If you have a cooldown just out heal it. Another thing the warrior does is enrage and fixate on you or one of your group members. The way to counter this ability is to kite him around using your transcendence to slow him down, chi torpedo and if he managed to get to you, you can knock him back using your cracking jade lightning. In case the warrior fixate on one of your allies instead of you, you should out heal him. Make sure to kill the last head next to the pack that about to spawn. In that way you can effectively stun all the mobs at once and interrupt all of their abilities at the same time. The last two packs are the hardest ones, you should use cooldown for each one of them. The 4th pack have 2 warriors and 1 mage, make sure they are stacked for leg sweep 
and use it right after both warriors start to cast their dancing knife. You can only interrupt one warrior on this pack and the other one will have to be out healed. On the last pack I use Bloodlust and try to do as much DPS as I can before I use my leg sweep. This pack has one mage, one warrior and one hunter. Your main priority is to interrupt mana string and the rest is the same as the previous packs. Once you have passed the first stage, you can chill out, drink and wait for some cooldowns to come back before going into the next stage. Once you start the next stage, you will have to kill 6 eyes which does AoE pulse damage if you stand close to them and they will slowly close down on you. Make sure to place your transcendence to slow them down and kill them one by one. Once they die, they will explode, so make sure to be topped before killing them. You can either go melee or kill them with your crackling giant lightning. Next you have to kill 3 heads down, nothing special about this one.
On the next step, you have to dispel one add and heal three more to the max. Make sure their health does not drop to zero. Then you have to face a hunter that's very similar to the hunter in phase one. Interrupt the mana string and if you have a cooldown, let him hit one of the adds and heal him up. Disable all the orbs using your chi burst and then you have to kill one ad and three more eyes. You can pull the ad outside of the room if you like. Just make sure you are not running out of time. Once you're done with this stage, you can chill out, drink and wait for some cooldowns to come back. On the last stage, two of your allies will start fighting each other. Your main priority is to keep them up. If one of them dies, the challenge will end. In addition, three mobs with about 2.8 million health will be pulled into the boss and there will be three waves of ants. Once you heal them to max health, the fixate will be removed. Split out your cooldowns evenly for each wave. Don't waste all of them at once. Sometimes it's better to let one end to get through, than try to top all of them. And don't forget that the main priority is your allies. Once all three waves have passed, you will have to deal with the amount of ads that manage to pass through. 
it is optimal to get around 1 or 2 ads. The ads are the same ads from phase 1. On the final stage, the boss will leap on you, and each time he does it, he will leave a green pool that does heavy AoE damage. Try to stand next to the corners for each leap, and minimize the pool's area, or you will run out of space. The main ability on this fight is the same ability as Nightman fight. The boss will put a dot on you, and when the timer reaches to zero, there will be explosion that will deal damage to the whole group based on the amount of health you have. The way to counter this ability is to stand on the green zone, and when the dot is about to end, try to be around 30% HP. Sometimes the explosion and the boss charge will come at the same time, so you should be very careful and don't drop your health too low. Thank you for all the support. I hope you find this guide helpful for you. Make sure to subscribe and if you have any question, leave them in the comment below. Until next time.